hello and welcome back guys um, so today we have here a uh, Fiat Punto uh, 1.2 uh, 16 valve ECU uh, the guy is lost has lost all the keys so he can't start the car and uh, it doesn't worth to go ahead and make a new key for a car like this it, you know the key is probably the same price as the car itself so um, today we are going to be removing the um, immobilizer in this car uh, what we need guys is we need the ECU I have it here it's um, this is the code of this ECU is 0261 204 983 uh, this is an hybrid ECU you don't have to open this we can do the programming through the the plugs here um, so yeah let's uh, just go ahead and and do this first off what you need is the ECU of course like I said then you need a an old or something with an XP Windows XP uh, in this case I'm going to be using um, a bridge AVDI uh, you can also read the flash from this with the uh, Galeto uh, MPPS uh, pretty much anything uh, that can read uh, an ECU flash uh, I made this cable which is a OBD female from a car and um, then I connected these ones to the pin 16 which is positive the green one here it's to the pin 7 which is K-line and uh, all of these okay, so all of these these are pin, um, these are ground and they are going to pin 4 and 5 on the, the plug, the, the OBD plug. This one is for me to give it 12 volts so I can turn the ECU on. Uh, and I'm going to be using also this. This is going to be my interface between the computer and the ECU through this of course I could I could plug pins from here to the ECU but uh, like that it's a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and open the software like this okay now what I'm going to do now guys is um, I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'm going to open here an image on the connections that you need to do. Uh, I'm going to be placing it, placing it in the video so you can follow all the connections. It's a lot easier when you see a, a photograph of what you need to be done than me placing the pins and my hands will be in front of course so it's a lot harder. So I'm going to be showing you all the pins already connected, but before that, I'm going to show you a, a connection diagram. Okay, so I have everything set up as, um, as in the picture uh, diagram. As you can see, all the positives, the key line, this is the boot pin, which is ground, and this is the chassis ground. Everything is connected through the OBD to the Abridge uh, interface. Also, I have here a power supply of 12 volts, 3 amps, which is really uh, stable. I'm going just to connect that. Now we come here and we open the software. Okay, so Abridge, Fiat, you can use the older version because this is an older car also. So it doesn't really make a difference. Um, it's connecting to the interface. Okay, special functions. 
ECU flasher open. Now this is a ME 7.3 H4. It's it. that's what it is there. So it's in boot mode and read flash. Let's see how it goes. It's reading already. It's saying that it's going to take like a minute and 30 something. So I'm just going to pause the video and um, show you when it's done. Okay, so we are pretty much done. And uh, it's done. Operation complete successfully. Okay, so now you can save the file. I'm just going to leave it yeah, in the um, desktop with the name that's already in there. I'm just going to put original. Okay, and save. So now um, you guys might think, uh, well, why should I, um, why should I buy an Abridge interface and software to make a Fiat Punto uh, Emo off if the Abridge itself is worth as much as the car? Okay, so you're right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we are going to uh, exit this. Now I'm going to disconnect the the AVDI interface, and we are going to go ahead and do it with the same connections, everything here, but with um, a different OBD interface, which is the Galeto that you can buy for uh, as cheap as. Uh, 15 euros like 20 bucks or something off ebay or amazon or whatever your favorite um, site is beware if you are in europe uh, these days we have to pay the taxes but still it's pretty cheap so let me just put this to the side here we are going to use this old cable which is in galeto 1260 the older one, as you can see, it's in rough shape, but it still works. So let me just plug this in like that. Now let me just plug, plug this side in as well, like so. Okay, so now let's go to Galeto. It's right here. 1260, yes, and new serial. So I need to plug power on, on the transformer there. Um, yeah, okay. So I already have this in the, in the menu here. Let's see if we can identify the ECU. Yes. It's reading, it's trying to read, I think. But it didn't identify the um, ECU pro uh, as it should. So let's exit this, reopen it. ECU data. Let's remove pin 20 from here and then refit it and go ahead let's see if it goes no it's still the same so let me just uh, figure out uh, i've done this already uh, several times but let me just figure out what i'm doing wrong and um, i'll i'll be right back and explain what i've done so yeah guys, so it turned out that um, the CCU is corrupted, that's okay because um, I have another dump that will work. Okay, so this is the car, uh, what you need to do is to remove the feed, as you can see here, it's going to tell you that, as soon as you give it feed, you press enter. 
and that will identify this um, but uh, all dashes that means that the ECU is corrupted the way I know this is that uh, now we are going to press read ECU it's going to, to prompt the same let me go ahead and save it as Fiat Galeto save now you're going to do the same remove fit and then as soon as you give it fit like so press enter um, it's reading as you can see there the green bar down there so the way I, I know that this um, ECU is corrupted is that for one uh, I have done this several times and uh, for uh, the second reason is that after we read this, we will compare uh, this read with the other read we have done with the um, Abritas interface. And they are both exactly the same. There is no difference there. No, no difference there. And um, But yeah, I have another dump that I'm going to be loading to the CCU. And uh, hopefully uh, everything will be okay when I get to the car. I'm pretty sure it will because that dump, I've used it several times and it's uh, it has worked um it's the same number not the same software number but it's the same hardware number uh, most likely most likely it will work uh, but as you can see you don't even have to remove the ECU from the car you can leave it in the car and just go ahead with a, a wiring like this and do it on top of the motor um so yeah, let's go ahead and see. It's pretty much done. Okay, end of read, turn off dash. So it's turned off. Okay, so exit. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this software that compares dumps. So I'm going to be using the dump that I've read with a bridge, which is this one. Okay, and the second dump will be Fiat Galeto, this one, Abrir. Okay, so now I'm going to search, go to first different. There's no such thing as a difference. So, that means that this dump is corrupted. Um, and that's why it doesn't identify on the, on the computer there. Um, so I'm going to be loading another dump. Uh, let me just go and find it because I don't know what it is. Uh, in one of these computers, I have a few here. Um, but yeah, guys, so just bear with me. Uh, I'll be right back. So I have it uh, right here now. I found it. This is the one. So let's go ahead and open Galeto again. We can do it via Galeto or AVDI. It's the same thing, it's the same process. Instead of read, it's a, a write, of course. So again, ECU data, it's going to prompt to remove and give feed, which uh, I've did now. Okay. So it's still the same identification, which is wrong open file you're going to identify where is the file i've just found and it is this one open open as you can see we can identify that awesome and now download file it's going to prompt again to remove and to give feed and enter it's erasing the old file the old dump and it's starting to write after that we are going to be uh trying to identify the ecu again uh, pressing the ecu data there to see if these numbers will appear up there um this is a process to uh, take like I don't know maybe a minute and a half something like that um, but if it does appear on top here uh, I know this is a an off file I have this file 
if you guys need it you just you know put in the comment section uh, down the video and i'll post it with uh, mega or in the cloud or something like that for you guys to have access to it um anyway let me just it's almost done it's 70 percent as you can see there uh, anyway this is the same process with the uh, abridge as well it's exactly the same um, as in this one i'm just showing this one because it's a lot cheaper the the, the hardware and the software um, so that everyone can do it okay so turn off the the issue for 10 seconds now it says to wait i just turn turn it off as you can see there let me see turn it on again okay enter nice closing ecu okay so now ecu data remove feed put feed back in now as you can see there's the numbers there the identification numbers so that we know we have a success so guys this is a pretty much uh, tested uh, file the only thing i do in these cars is just to disconnect the um, the ring that reads the key the transponder uh, antenna uh, then plug the the ecu back in the car and you know just start it and go away it's as simple as that so yeah guys please if you don't if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button over there um, if you have any questions or doubts you just can you know contact me on the, the the comments there and I'll gladly help if I can so yeah guys let's uh, close this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one be safe